Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of dilations, specifically how we can represent them algebraically, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So, we have two different triangles here. Let me go ahead and declare them as similar. So, you see the triangle ABC is similar to, and we will say, triangle FGH, and they visually look similar. You can tell that uh, FGH is, you know, a little bit larger and looks like it's the same size, just a different scale. And uh, it's all centered around the origin. And you can see that origin right there, that zero, zero, is kind of where everything is centering. It really helps us see one kind of stacked within the other. So, how do we find the scale factor because that's what happens when we do a dilation is we will take one of these and then we will use a scale factor that factor right there big clue it's going to multiply we're going to multiply these coordinates by a scale factor can be a whole number can be decimal can often be a fraction usually in a proper fraction and we'll get the other set of coordinates so that's what we need my scale factor equals hmm We'll figure that out. So, let's do this. Let's figure out the coordinates for A, B, and C. Let's just go ahead and put that right there. So, A is negative 1, 3. B, I'm going to write it this way. You'll see why in just a moment. Negative 2, negative 2. And then C is going to be 0, 4. So, that's my first triangle, the blue one. So, I'm going to put the corresponding point right underneath them. And you hopefully will see the scale factor. I chose a very simple one here just for demonstration purposes, but typically they're a little bit more complex than this. Negative 4, negative 4 is G. And then H is going to be 0, 8. And if you look from one to the other, what you should be noticing is that you take everything by that top row, right? and you double it, you multiply it by 2. So, if we wanted to say this, if we wanted to say triangle, if we get from triangle ABC to triangle FGH, what we're going to do is we are going to let XY represent any point in that first triangle, right? Any point on any of the lines in that ABC. And so what we're going to do is we're going to dilate it. So we're going to use that little arrow to show that we're going to dilate it. But what we're going to do is we're going to put that scale factor in there. And that scale factor is 2. So we're going to say we would dilate it by saying 2x comma 2y. So if we want to take any point in the ABC triangle, we just double it. We multiply it by 2, and that's how you represent dilations algebraically. Now, with these triangles right here, I can actually show you the flip side as well. So let's say we're going, we originally drew FGH, and we wanted to dilate it down to ABC. You probably can tell what we're going to do. There's a few different ways we can do it. Once again, we're going to let XY represent any point on those triangles, for F, G, H. And we're going to dilate it down. Once again, we're going to use this little triangle and this little arrow here. But what we're going to do is we're going to change the scale factor. If we're going from F, G, H down to A, B, C, we could represent it like this. We're going to cut it in half, right? That's the inverse of 2, doubling it. Half of x, half of y. Or, if you want, we could just go decimal. And we could say 0 0.5x, 0 0.5y. Or you could even just say x over 2 y over 2. All of those work, and that's how we show dilations.